fucking steal my Yoda and shit. Sorry, I'm thirsty. I'm, I'm talking. And so, finally, I will get to what started this entire rant in the first place. After I tell this next story. About friends. I lived in Vegas for a little while. And I became friends with my bosses at Pizza Hut. Yeah, I got a job at Pizza Hut. I crushed it. And for some reason, an old, oh, here we go, an old friend of mine asked me to come out there and live with her because she knew I was going through some stuff. So she was like, hey, you know, I'm out here. I'm all alone. You come out here, you stay here for free. You can get the money to fly from Atlanta to Vegas. <clears throat> Lighter. And you'll stay with me. Seem real cool. But of course, this friend who had a way long time crush on me and all that I put it to it straight as as soon as I got to the airport and she picked me up I said you know we've been through a lot I know you for a while but I think it's very important very important important that we do not get intimate because I need to get my shit together get me a job you know whatever whatever cool turns out I got a job uh, working at a pizza with people who actually work Satan. I didn't think that was real. I didn't think people actually worshiped Satan. Like, I listened to Slayer and Danzig and, you know, 13 on my chest and all that kind of stuff. That's cool. These motherfuckers actually worship Satan and did weird, uh, rituals and shit like that and the girl they were both my managers or the runners of the pizza hut the girl was a cutter you know I'm gonna cut myself somebody please pay attention to me and of course she was not very attractive but her boyfriend um, me and him, we became close friends. Alright. So, it was nice, and, you know, we fucking party, and go next to the, uh, super fucking biker bar right next to the Pizza Hut, and he bought me drinks, and that was great. Seemed like a really good friend. And honestly, I don't think he ever in his life had a good friend until I came along. And he actually said that to me. 
Um, but then things started to get a little strange. Eventually, I had to move out of the girl's house that I lived in in Vegas because she had a I don't think there's even a word for it of uh, affection for her cat's balls. Uh, I'll save that story for another time. Cat ball touching. And she would uh, leave her front door open with a bowl of candy and wait for the kids in the neighborhood come get the candy. Shit was fucked up. And this this girl was younger than me. You know, this wasn't some old lady or nothing. This was just a creepy bitch. And she kept cucumbers in her refrigerator. And that creeped me out a little bit too. Uh, but... That was my friend. But eventually, she couldn't take it. I was going out to bars. I was, you know, doing my do. And eventually, she decided she had to kick me out. So I moved in with the Satan worshiping bosses. At Pizza Hut. My friends. And eventually. My friend. The guy. Um, asked me seriously. Seriously. Will you please have sex with my girlfriend? I hate her. I cannot stand her. Please fuck her. And at this point, we we're living in a condo above Vegas, which was awesome. But still, this girl was a cutter and crazy and not attractive. At all. But in, in order to keep my job, I would have to have sex with her and my friends would probably want to watch. This is friends. This is friends. Part two. Okay. What did I fucking deserve? To have to live with that. It was insane. And then I ended up in the hospital because of um, other things. And these motherfuckers. Threw all my shit in a tub. In a tub. All my writings, hundreds of pages. Everything I had been working on for you know, like a year and a half. Just because. I wouldn't have sex with my boss's boss. His girlfriend who cuts herself. These are friends. This is what friends are. So, you tell me, you tell me, what the fuck is going on with people? You know? And one of the cra- it, it, this is funny. It, not to, you know, to bring the darkness down. She, uh, 
her and her boyfriend uh, were in a fight and all that kind of stuff. And she started threatening to cut herself. I'm going to cut myself if you don't. That, that, and I'm going uh, to cut myself. And and she started on, you know what I mean? That I will cut myself if you you need to have sex with me. I said, you know what? Give me about five minutes. Five minutes. Let me go uh, microwave some popcorn. And then you can go ahead and cut yourself. So at least I have some snack to enjoy the show. I said this to these motherfuckers. These motherfuckers ain't friends. These are crazy motherfuckers. And with that. Oh, I didn't even get to the severed head and the dude I watched die. But, alright. So this is part two. You suck. Unless you're a real friend. But I'm going to stop now. Because I think. It's, yeah it's about 10 minutes now. So. I hope you enjoyed that. And eventually I will. I. Will. Get. To. The. Friends. That sold me out and started this rant anyway. Might take a couple episodes. Whatever. See you next time. And I'm not going to bobblehead this time. Maybe I will. Till I find the stop. A button. Yeah, I bobblehead it again. Alright, I promise. Friends. Part three will have no bobblehead.